Hey, brother, have you heard of the anime, a condition called love? Ah, you mean the one with the psycho, Hanoi-kun. Why psycho? I mean, if you don't see the red flags, then I'm sorry. What? Okay, let's talk about a condition called love for a little bit. Firstly, I call it Hanoi-kun because it's mostly about him and Totaru, the girl he falls for like one hour after a breakup that Totaru witnessed. You don't say. I mean, I do get the character of Hotaru. She is a sweet little girl, quite normal if I have to say so. She just isn't really interested in dating or love. And she accepted that fact. Cause, let's be real, it ain't the middle ages where there were either arranged political marriages in between the families or that your village had only that many people from which you could choose from to be your partner for life. No, the whole world is open which makes it that much harder and easier. Because everyone wants to only have the best for themselves and that's why they just can choose in the end, leaving them lonely in the end. But some people are just born that way. They prefer their peace and quiet and they have one or two really good friends. They are friendly, but they don't really care if they date or not, and Totoro is one such girl. One day when she's in a cafe with her friend, Totoro sees a harsh breakup with a girl and a pretty famous good-looking guy from the school. After that, Totoro parts with her friend and goes home. But on the way home, when Totoro passes by the park, she sees the dude that got broken up with, or MC Hanoi-kun. There, Totoro comforts Hanoi-kun with the umbrella in a snowy evening where Hanoi just sits in the snow devastated from the breakup. After that Hanoi's eyes light up and he sees to find a new reason to live, that being Hotaru. After that right the very next day Hanoi bothers Hotaru so that he can date with her. Eventually Hotaru agrees to a trial period of dating. Well that's what the first episode shows. Now, if we are just talking about the cute moments, I mean, we do get them. And even some nice moments too, but it throws me off the moment Tannoy starts doing his things. His obsession with helping Hotaru that I understand. But you do not have to lose your fingers in the process of searching for a hairpin in the snow for hours. Take some goddamn rest or pauses. Then there are some other creepy or weird moments with him and I do get it that he wants to have eyes only for her but saying that he does not care for any other damn human is stupid. Like, he needs a job to earn money, to use the money and to buy food to live. If there was no one there, even when he's as talented as he is, he would die off before he could even be self-sufficient. But the hypocritical moment is when he helps the elderly with stuff when it does not even need to be him to help them and when he helps them because he wants to help them. The next crazy thing is that Hanoi meets up with Hotaru and one day she decides that she wants to surprise him and come before him to the meeting place. Day one Hotaru comes half an hour early and he's there. Day two she comes one hour early and he's still there. Day three she is two hours early. He is there! And on day four she comes three hours early and lo and behold he's coming right out of the gates. So yeah, he's literally a psycho coming three hours early and truth be told it's just the beginning of the crazy stuff he does. I mean, I do feel sorry for you guys and girls who wanted to have a video about a nice romance show, which it is if you ignore the main character. Okay, sorry for making this video, I just wanted to end my frustrations about the show. Oh, and before I forget it, the ending song is a banger. Every second, every day. Thanks for watching, press like for the algorithm gods, stay healthy and we're gonna see us in the next video. Goodbye!